Every May and June, hundreds of thousands of horseshoe crabs come ashore in the Delaware Bay on the east coast of the United States to spawn at high tide. Without these creatures, there would not be a COVID-19 vaccine. Horseshoe crabs are vital for the safety of human vaccines because they, their blood contains a substance that detects a contaminant called endotoxin, which is a type of bacterial toxin. Even if tiny amounts of endotoxin make their way into vaccines, injectable drugs or other sterile pharmaceuticals, the results could be deadly. Our next report telling you more. Horseshoe crabs are living fossils. They have existed for at least 445 million years without significant changes, even before dinosaurs existed. There are four species of horseshoe crabs that are still around today. Horseshoe crabs, uh, in, in difference of their common name, they're not crabs. They're actually arthropods that are related to um, spiders and scorpions. This is a female and one of the ways to uh, see that is this first pair of legs. They're actually pinchers. With their helmet-like shells, tails that resemble spikes and five pairs of legs connected to their mouths, horseshoe crabs are not immediately enduring. But if you have ever had a vaccine in your life, you have these sea creatures to thank. Their bright blue blood They're, clots in the presence of harmful bacterial components called years. endotoxins. Their blood has been essential yeah. for testing the safety Thank of you. biomedical products <laughs> since the 1970s, after it replaced rabbit testing. So when we talk about the different user groups that have a vested interest in the survival of the population of horseshoe crabs, and we, you know, we know that watermen are interested in them for bait, and um, birds are interested in them for the food resource that they need when they're migrating through, and the biomedical industry is interested in them uh, for their blood, for a test that could be made uh, to detect uh, bacterial endotoxins from their blood. Breeding is a dangerous business for horseshoe crabs as it is on the beach that they are at their most vulnerable. As the tide washes in, some end up on their backs. Around 10% of the population is lost each year as their exposed undersides bake in the sun. She will go and bury herself down, lay a clutch of about a golf ball size, group of eggs, about three to 4,000 at a time. And then once she has laid those eggs, the males will fertilize that area. Every year, around 500,000 horseshoe crabs are harvested and bled for a chemical called Limulus ambocyte lysate. This chemical is vital for testing against a type of bacteria that can contaminate medications, needles, and devices like hip replacements. In the early 1900s, Horseshoe crabs were used as fertilizer by the farming industry. Then they were used as bait by fishermen. Now, because of the bleeding process, the regions where horseshoe crabs are harvested, fewer and fewer females are showing up to spawn. Horseshoe crabs are ancient animals more than half a billion years old. In the process of using their invaluable blue blood, Let's hope we do not wipe them out completely. Bureau Report, We On World is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.